Charismatic might look small, but his brand of courage and his thoughts are what will one day fuel the rebellion that will free the entire galaxy. After spending all night coming to terms with the fact that his companion Cassian Andor isn't a freedom fighter but a gun for hire, Karis Nemec comes up with a very clear-eyed understanding of the situation. The role of mercenaries in the galactic struggle for freedom. My conclusion is simple. Weapons are tools. Those that use them are, by extension, functional assets that we must use to our best advantage. Karis Nemec is dangerous because not only is he ideological, he also believes in being pragmatic and taking every advantage he can get without completely sacrificing his values. If the Empire has no moral boundaries, why should we not take hold of every chance we can? Let them see how an insurgency adapts. His manifesto will surely change how the rebellion works in the future. Five years later, the rebellion will have to rely on another mercenary, an individual known as Han Solo, to deliver precious cargo and information that is vital to the survival of the rebellion. I wonder what else in Karak Nemec's manifesto makes it into the wider rebellion's ideology.